Hi, I'm Dr. Gavin Harris, and here are three things you should know about highly pathogenic avian influenza A, H5N1. One, last week, an 11-year-old girl in Cambodia died from H5N1. Her father also initially tested positive for the virus with consistent symptoms and is currently receiving treatment in a hospital. Subsequent testing of 16 close contacts and another 13 with symptoms consistent with influenza-like illnesses all returned negative, including a second test from the girl's father. It's unclear whether the positive cases represent acquisition from an infected bird or human-to-human -human transmission. Since then, Cambodian officials have reported sequencing of the virus from the girl's father is consistent with a variant of the virus known to be endemic in the country and the cause of sporadic cases in previous decades. This is different than the clade currently circulating globally. Two, often referred to as bird flu, H5N1 primarily affects wild birds and domestic flocks. People with recreational or occupational exposure to birds, such as poultry farmers or those with flocks at home, are at the greatest risk of infection. While human infections are rare, H5N1 can cause severe disease and has a mortality rate above 50% in humans. Three, at this time, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has determined the risk to the global public as low. However, because H5N1 has the potential to cause severe disease in humans and because we don't have effective medical countermeasures to prevent or treat the disease, healthcare professionals in the United States should know how to identify a suspected case of H5N1 as well as recommendations for testing and treatment. For more information and for healthcare-related resources, visit us on the web at needtech.org.